Hi, a very good afternoon, everybody. We welcome you all to today's webinar being organized by Gem Atlas on the topic of key to selling gems and jewelry online. Today's webinar will be presented by Mr. Kaushik Sangvi. And now I hand over the presentation to him to take it forward from here. Over to you, sir. Good evening, everybody. And uh, today's topic is key to successful selling gems and jewelry online. Uh, there are lots of people who have been facing difficulty in selling their products online. But it's high time we accept that being present online is the only solution to any kind of sales in today's world. If we just take a rough workout, 92% of the shoppers research product information online before buying any, any of the products. So that means before a customer appears to you for any kind of purchase, they have almost taken the entire review of the product online. Secondly, 81% of check their prices and compare the substitutes online. So even your competitive products are also reviewed by the customer before even reaching to you. So if, you, if we see these statistics, this shows like an online presence for each and every product is very badly required. Secondly, if we go a bit further, there are, if we talk about people like the, the, the young generation, those who are smartphone users, you come across like 85% like research items on their phone before making an in-store purchase. And 60% of the people take the time to research products on their phones while standing in a store. So it's a continuous process where each and every product is been checked or it, each and every product is been examined online or on mobile or on internet even before it gets sold so online presence is badly required now this is one of the main reason like why a person should be online the number of online consumers is expected to cross 100 millions by 2017 and compared to 69 millions last year in india this shows a huge number of people, those who are purchasing their products online. This could be one of the reasons like they do not have that much of time visiting the stores or they would easily sit at their home or in their office and select the product as per their requirements. Hence, any seller who wants to remain relevant and competitive must have an online presence. It's not necessary that you have an online presence just to have your products to be sold online. But it can be also helpful to you to have an online catalog of the product what you are selling. Even for an individual who does not have a shop, online selling is a fantastic way to build a successful online business on your own terms. At your will and at your mercy, you will be able to uh, dedicate time and supply the goods to your customer. Choose when and where you work with minimum setup of cost. The biggest inventory in today's world especially in country like india and in metro cities and all that the most expensive expenditures are into having a shop which would be constructed with bricks and mortars but uh, instead of investing that much of money into such kind of an uh, uh, shop you could easily work out on online store without spending so much of money into it even today, many sellers in India are still not successful in selling their products online. Except for few of them, most of the people I have come across have lost their interest on selling online and they have stopped being online. Now, there would be various factors which would be actually affected, uh, which would be actually affecting uh, their demotivation of selling online which would be one of them would be the lack of proper information. Most of the people, they don't have proper information about the expenditures which would be incurred or the penalties or any kind of negative uh, charges which would be applied if at all they come across any kind of mistakes. Secondly, it could be an unprofessional approach. Uh, once when we are talking about an online sale, you are dealing with highly educated or at least educated customers and any kind of an unprofessional approach would make a very big difference in your sales 
and that may be one of the case where a person would be demotivated in uh, being online and the most important part would be the lack of patience uh, it's not always like once you are ready with your store and you the customer starts popping in you need to work hard for it and you need to have a lot of patience to understand each and every point where you should be perfect enough in attracting the customers now this kind of lacking in uh, patience or unprofessional approach and lack of proper information would result into poor sales or no sales poor sales or no sales gives you a negative marking and a person would think about quitting from being an online seller now the second question comes like why sell gems and jewelry online now today's topics is much more connected to gems and jewelry now apart from all kind of e-commerce activity or all kind of e-commerce sales the most lucrative most uh, efficient or the most profit making business would be in gems and jewelry See, if you see the statistics like online jewelry market in India is expected to hit almost 3.6 billion US dollar. That's almost 24,000 crore rupees in the next three years. Around 20% of the global market size estimated at around 18 billion US dollar, mainly on the back of e-commerce boom. That shows like most of the trade would be converted into e-commerce very soon. Now, this kind of e-commerce workout is the key backbone of gem and jewelry industry. More than 2 million people worldwide shop for gems and jewelry online each day. So, there is a huge market for it. Buying and selling gems and jewelry is a huge It's supposed to be one of the most diverse uh, segment where there are lots of kind of jewelry starting from gold or silver and uh, you can mix up patient between diamonds and color stones and special simple gemstones that in fact you have a uh, certain version of that which can be used into uh, jewelry, uh manufacturing people have also used various things like shells and wood and jewelry in today's world Now, if we talk about uh, gems and jewelry selling, there would be lots of pros and lots of cons to it. Now, first of all, when we talk about uh, the positive points would be like it's highly profit making because there's a, a huge margin of profit which can be added to it. Second, it's a healthy appetite for personal adornment. Personal adornment is one of the most uh, one of the most uh, effective uh, and uh, one of the most proven uh, facts in Indian culture. Even each and every female and male would be having their own kind of jewelry, which they would be wearing it in day-to-day -day activity. So it's got a uh, personal adornment, which is which is a never-ending story in India. So it, it is one of the most easiest one or easiest uh, segment to sell your, uh, your products. Jewelry knows no boundaries. Uh, it, it doesn't get... Uh, limitized to only male or female and all that nowadays you also have kids jewelry which comes into much more of uh, demand it's got diversity you can as I as discussed earlier like there are various things which can be put into it like uh, various metals and various uh, uh, gemstones which can be uh, used into day-to-day -day jewelry so it's it's got various diversities which is available you can have rings you can have chains you can have bracelets you each rings there are n numbers of jewelry which can be used and the most important part would be your space savers as gem and jewelry uh, gems and jewelry basically requires very lesser space it consumes very lesser space so it can be a very big, good space saver you don't require a big warehouse to keep your jewelries uh, into uh, stock every pros has certain cons so there are certain things which it could be lacking also now those lackings would be somewhat it's too costly material yes definitely when we are talking about any kind of precious uh, gems and jewelry definitely it would be a bit of costly materials secondly when we talk about jewelry there is precision requirements precision requirements are much more 
uh, uh, essential part of any kind of jewelry because a filthy workout or anything which is too much of uh, uh, defective in nature would not be able to be sold easily. So you require a precision uh, in making or manufacturing your jewelry or selecting your jewelry as a product to be sold online. Thirdly, it is trendy. It is totally based on the trends that a person is able to sell the jewelry. So you should be aware about the changes in the trend which happens and you should be able to sell your jewelry before the change in the trend works out. And the most important part would be it would be a bit competitive. Nowadays, there are lots of people, lots of uh, uh, jewelry stores, they come up with their jewelry online. So you will be actually dealing with uh, competi competition with those kind of people too. So it is a bit competitive too. So these are certain uh, pros and cons which are connected to your German jewelry uh, online. Once you have decided out of all these cons that you require to be a German jewelry online dealer, there, here are some of the keys to make it successful selling gems and jewelry online. Now, you require to select appropriate platforms or you require to have your own website. Now, what do you mean by selecting an appropriate platforms? There are various e-commerce platforms available readily on internet where you can sell your products. You can just uh, enroll your uh, your company with the with the platforms and they would be able to give you a unique uh, place where you can display your products and you can start selling them. And the second option would be you can have your own website where you can put up your products at your will and you can start having your sales. Now, how to select an appropriate platform? There are various, uh, uh, various parameters on which you need to check and to come to a conclusion which is much more appropriate for your kind of jewelry and your kind of working. Let us discuss those certain things like there are various platforms available right now with lots of service offered, which may include like they may give you a store manager, uh, free photo shoots, advertisement assistance, content writing, various such kind of things. So you need to choose from various uh, platforms, which is much more appropriate. Choose wisely by various comparisons between various platforms, like there, there are a few names like Flipkart or Amazon, eBay, Snapchat, Mantra. Many such kind of platforms are available right now. What a person needs to see or what a person needs to compare before joining any such kind of platform. The first basic comparison would be the number of sellers on each platform. There are there are statistics which are available with each and every platform. They tell you how many number of sellers are available on that platform. There can be two ways or, or maybe it would be a two perception to the point like one would rather think more number of sellers on a platform. That means there is more number of people or what, what we can call like a footfall of more number of people on that platform. Second one would either go with lesser number of sellers, so there will be less kind of competition. So again, you need to decide which is much more appropriate to you. If you ask me on a personal level, I would rather go with a number of more number of sellers on each platform. That would be the place where I'll be able to compete myself with most of the people. At the same time, I'll be able to show my product or uh, my catalog to more number of people, those who are coming into the uh, website. Second would be number of listed products on each platform. Each platform displays like how many numbers of products are listed on their platform each day or each week. More number of products, definitely. That shows more number of people are interested into seeing those products and you could be one of them if you are putting up your product on such kind of platform. So again, you can decide which is better for you. Thirdly, it would be product categories offered. You need to check whether that particular platform offers the categories of product what you have for sale. Certain platforms like those who are much more connected with imitation uh, jewelry or only fashion materials and all that may, may discourage you from selling any precious or semi precious jewels and jewelry online. So you can avoid those kind of platforms then. And the most important would be the most popular case of your product 
is supposed to be one of the most popular categories now most popular categories is something where more number of people are interested in seeing those products in that platform if your uh, category falls under the most popular categories that would be the added advantage to join those kind of platforms second one would be pricing okay. uh, sorry for the distinction uh, we are talking about something called uh, product listing fees. So product listing fees are the fees which you need to pay to upload your product. In every individual product needs to be paid a fees. So there are certain platforms which may charge you uh, certain product listing fees and there are certain uh, platforms which would allow you to uh, send un, un, uh, 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 there would be no fees charged for uploading your any uh, products. Third one would be your payment gateway fees which you need to pay to collect the payment made by your customer uh, through any kind of uh, uh, credit or debit cards or uh, it could be a bank transfer so the whatever the amount of money has been collected through a payment gateway uh, so uh, the, the platforms would be charging you certain fees to collect your payment gateway fees so another thing which you need to take care of is like the types of payment gateway accepted on each and every platform the more the number of payment gateways accepted and the more the number of uh, the types of payments accepted on any of these platforms would be an added advantage. So, uh, next would be your commission on each product category you wish to sell. Every platform has a unique uh, commission charged for various categories of product. So you need to take care of it like whichever product category you are in, going to sell and the commission which has been applied over it. So uh, that is one of the most important parts in calculating the pricing of it the next one would be your commission on sales written there are very few companies who would waive off the commission which was charged for the sales if at all the product is not accepted by the customer whereas all other uh, major of the companies would retain their commission so again this could be a, a negative uh, way of working if at all you have many returns coming back and you need to pay the commission for those kind of uh, products which doesn't end up in sale and the last but most, most important one would be your payment cycles payment cycle is something which is a number of days uh, termed as payment cycles which should be calculated from the date of the sale or from the uh, time when the product reaches your customer till the time you get your payment so that would be known as payment cycles so every platform has the various ways of calculating payment cycles. So you should be aware in how many days you'll be getting your payment. So once those, are, those things are clear, it becomes easy for you to calculate how you would be actually uh, end, ending up selling your products or the price which would be uh, affecting the sales of your products. So Flipkart, Snapdeals and Shoptools do not ask for subscription or listing or payment gateway fees. While eBay looks expensive as compared to its competitors, it makes up by for this by offering really low commission rates on sales. So there are various pros and cons of each and every platform. So you need to go with all those kind of things and compare them, which is much more suitable to you. Sales return fees is charged by certain platforms, whereas most of the platforms would uh, not charge you any kind of sales return fees, and they would revert back the fees which was charged. If at all, they don't end up uh, giving you a good sales. Hence, this parameter differs between various platforms, so you need to check, uh, keep a check on it and uh, uh, decide which is actually a good one for you. Or many times you can work out on various platforms together. Then comes logistic or courier service. So there are certain things which you need to check it up under logistic and courier service from each and every platform. First one would be your self-shipping option. Uh, there are few companies which would be actually offering you self shipping options like uh, companies like Shopo or uh, companies like uh, uh, Sorry, the companies like Shopo and all that would be able to give you a free uh, self shipping options and uh, the most of the other companies which would be giving you a shipping assistance that means they have their own uh, core team partners or courier partners which would be uh, taking your logistics or your courier uh, services would be provided by them now if at all it has been provided by them then you need to work it out what would be your average cost of shipping 
So every every product has the different cost of shipping depending on the weight part and depending on the size of the product and all that. There are various packaging guidelines and policies set by various companies. So you need to abide by the rules of packaging guidelines and policies because if you make any mistakes or if you don't abide by the rules, you may end up paying some penalties to it. Then comes your packaging provision. Uh, most most of the companies in today's world right right now they have their own packaging provision which has been provided so you need to check up with what kind of packaging provisions are they giving it to you it could be a hard bound or it could be a softer polythene bags and all that kind of stuff which would be worked out to pack your materials and now when once when they provide you such kind of uh, products definitely there would be a packaging cost which would be involved into it so depending on the size of the products what you are selling and depending on the size of the packaging materials what you order there would be various costs which would be attached to it then comes like average shipping charges so each and every company has their own shipping partners and you need to abide uh, what kind of charges would be levied on you depending on the uh, country zone or uh, uh, depending on the distance what they need to travel and most of the companies would have a universal way of working it would be a single rate which would be applied for any distance whatever your product would be traveling again the most effective point would be your return shipping charges like few companies they charge you for your return shipping shipping charges whereas a company like snapdeal and all that would doesn't would never never charge you if at all your products are not even honored you along with the uh, sales charge what they uh, uh, charge you and the uh, payment gateway charge and your return, uh, shipping charges everything is refunded back to you so again you need to check it up with various platforms which is much more appropriate as per your requirement the last but not the least would be the media presence of each of these platforms you need to see like social media awareness or the presence of each and every such kind of sales platform if the platform has a very good social media awareness presence that means your chances of products being sold is much more higher compared to other any other platforms because more the social media awareness more the number of people would be uh, aware about the products which are sold on that platform and there are chances you may uh, attract more customers towards your product now it is something else which has started that is m commerce reach again an m commerce reach is also that important because most of the trade are expected to work out on mobile commerce which is coming up very soon and that's the main reason you come across various uh, uh, platforms talking about if at all you buy from uh, uh, your mobile app you would be get, getting an extra discount over the products what you purchase so again the mobile commerce reach is also that important Flipkart seems to be heeding the race when it talks or when it comes to the social media presence in M-commerce. With M-commerce slated to be the future of online retails in India, this numbers becomes extremely important for the one who is seriously to sell online. So these are few of the points where you need to check it up and decide which is much more appropriate platform for you. Or else you can decide to have your own website. Now again, having an own website has certain uh, positive and certain negative points attached to it having a website is very easy to talk but again it, it the, there are various benefits which are attached to it like it will eliminate your competitors when a person visits your website he doesn't get any comparatively products to be to compare with he doesn't have any option to compare your product with anything else so the only thing what he sees is your product and he can decide whether he would like to go with your product or not second biggest benefit about having your own website would be uh, no limitations on product listing you can have n numbers of products on your website because you don't need to pay any uh, product listing charges because it is pre-owned by you you don't even require to pay any listing or selling fees the reason behind all this thing is because it is again pre-owned by you and whatever sales you come across it's your own sale so you not you need not to pay any single commission to anyone for the sales which takes place on your website and above all it's a professional and a trustworthy image what you generate in a buyer's eye you create a very positive image in a buyer 
and a confidence among them like this is a person who has his own website he is always there to answer our queries he is always there to show various other of his products and all that a regarding of any third party uh, platforms or uh, in uh, e-commerce platforms every pros again has a cons so there are certain things which uh, would discourage a person by having its own website would be initial lack of traffic definitely if at all you start up a new website it will minimum take 6 to 8 months to develop a huge amount of traffic on your website lack of support if something goes wrong you are again in the, in the hands of your web developers and uh, uh, you have to answer each and everything which goes wrong at your end to your customer which would be uh, another case on a third party platform where the entire uh, support would be uh, given by the team of people those who are working in those platforms initial startup cost yes you need to pay various startup cost like having your own website so you require a domain space a domain name you require a web hosting space you require a designer you require various other cost which are involved into it in uh, getting your search engine optimization management so there are various such kind of cost which are involved into it and the worst part would be your customer assistant management in a third party platform what happens is like they get 24/7 customer assistance management whereas here you will have to employ a person to assess or to understand and uh, explain the difficulties faced by your customers so these are few of the cons which may discourage a person from having its own website so it's again up to an individual call like what kind of things you would like to go with but my main idea would be like you should be there online to sell your products brand building so this is something which is most important if you are presenting yourself online think of some brands you have recognized anywhere from your logo or from any catchy slogan like without a brand or without a logo or without a slogan it is practically impossible to be online so wisely choose your brand name logo and slogan it should be all matching or it should be all connected to each other the more effective your brand name the more catchy your slogan it's easy for you to be present online and to be remembered online for a longer period of time avoid the change of overlook overall look and feel as fast as possible because you you need to decide which is a perfect look for your website or your a perfect look for your logo and slogan once you have come again once you have decided once you have made up your mind please see to it you don't change it that often until and unless it is badly required changing such kind of things often may lose interest among your customer or may they may forget your brand or they may forget your uh, uh, slogan that easily even on social media you should avoid uh, uh, changing your uh, uh, name or brand and all that so it's always advisable you you keep up fix files for your logo and your image and your uh, slogan and all that even the fonts which are used should be the same one with wherever you put it up whether it's it is on a social media whether whether it is on a third party platform or where wherever you put it up on your website so make sure your name voice and images are the same from platform to platform it shouldn't be changing provide reciprocal links to make it easy for people to find your products so you should be uh, continuously uh, using your products reciprocal links on various uh, uh, social media uh, platforms where you can make people aware about the things which are available at your end and you can divert them to the website where they can end up buying your products the next uh, important factor would be your demographics like whom you are selling to you should be aware what your products are and what kind of designs so or what kind of trend are you working out with whether these are the products which are suitable for women for men for baby boomers for generation x or younger generation so you should be aware what your products are whom you are targeting and you can start having your campaigning according to the uh, there are demographics on which we are we are trying to market your products uh, Uh, after going through all these kind of things you come across a picture which is more as pricing most important factor because your pricing should neither be too low or it should neither be too high 
because too high the price would discourage a person from buying your product if at all it is too low you may end up getting good sales but at, at the end of it you will not be having too much of profit in your hands so you need to be very very cautious in deciding the pricing special in case of gemstones yes definitely because there will be ample amount of stones which would be available by any other buyers or any other sellers online and uh, they would compare easily with those kind of things make thorough cost calculations you should be able to calculate each and every part of it what whichever expenditures you will be incurring like packaging or your courier service and all this kind of uh, expenditures for your uploading your products or your photo shoots and whatever you have spent for and it should be covered up before the your end of your sales compare and research between your competitors you also need to see what your competitors are ready to shell out with and your prices should be equally competitive enough with those kind of things too and the most important part like you should have your uniqueness and craftsmanship in your product a unique and a craftsmanship products are always liable to fetch you more amount of money you can price a bit higher if your products are much more unique which are not easily comp competitive enough which you are not with these are which are not easily available with any other dealers definitely you can have more amount of profit at the store then comes your professional photographs now photographs are all the most important part of coming online or uh, on the on, or on your online sales photographs effectively communicate to your customer the details of the of your product now it is supposed to be the one of the first thing what your buyer sees now if you see a picture on your right the dragon which you see first now it doesn't require any other information the moment you see dragon you get to know like oh should i be going with this kind of things it's a much more unique uh, material or a much more unique design which you must have ever come across so the pictures are the one which speaks and this is the first thing what your customer sees they help customers better understand your product they would understand they would make uh, people understand what the things are they boost your brand a unique design or a unique good picture or with a high clarity pictures would definitely boost your brand too quality photo increases sales and lower returns now there are few uh, niches which we'll be discussing uh, after one or, one or two points like how you can even reduce your uh, the returns returns of sales uh, by giving some good amount of pictures increase the likelihood of social media sharing we come across various posts on various social medias and the most catchy picture or the, or the most attractive picture will make you see through the entire details which are written below it otherwise if at all the pictures are not that good enough although the things would be of really good quality or really good uh, uh, work out for you you may just miss out so uh, pictures are one of the most important part of uh, even on the social medias Now, professional photographs, as discussed earlier, when when we when we try to put a picture of your uh, product, see to it like your pictures or the products are shown or are displayed from each and every angle. If they are clearly displayed from various angles together, the amount of returns which are connected to it would be reduced to almost nil. If at all you just give a single view to it. and a person is not or the buyer is not able to understand what kind of the material would be there or what kind of design would be there on the other side of it and if at all they don't like it it would end up in return sales so to avoid those kind of things you should give ample amount of pictures with high clarity with all different angles and all that above all these things if possible what you can do is you can try adding some size references although you must have written like it is 2 uh, 2 cm long or 5 cm uh, in length and all this kind of stuff but you should always try adding some size references it can be a scale it can be a coin which a person a layman would be having ready in its hand and if you try to uh, if you try to compare it along with the uh, uh, the size comparer it it becomes easy for your uh, person, uh, your uh, consumer to understand the size of the actual product and whether they should be going with those kind of sizes or not and after this the most important part would be like very few uh, online platforms allows you to have a video picturing of your product but if at all it is available try taking advantage of it or else you can at least have those kind of video picturing on your websites now video picturing also helps you out in seeing the product in all different directions together 
so it would reduce your return sales to almost nil some platforms may not allow you to upload video files in such cases you can upload the videos on youtube or vimeo and edit its link to the product so on clicking those link uh, the consumer would be able to see the video on youtube and they can decide what kind of product are they actually looking at and how that product looks in various directions now how to sell gems and jewelry for maximum profit you need to uh, keep up with trends continue adding something new a new product added every week or every day makes your consumer much more attracted towards your site and they end up paying extra money in regarding uh, any 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 other uh, competitive material because they find something new are coming up into your store keep up to date with the latest trends you can uh, try joining various blogs read various blogs you can also create various google alerts on uh, various uh, uh, new trends or new uh, uh, gems and jewelry available in the market and all that so if you create google alerts google will always email you the things which are appear new in in their uh, search engines 30% of the buyers are ready to pay more price for something innovative and new in the market now this statistic shows like you can charge a bit high amount of money you can make some good amount of profit if at all you come uh, uh, if you if you add something innovative in your product range and something new or unique jewel will always fetch some extra profit so this is the way you can add up some more amount of profit avoid fakes now this is something which is highly 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 recommended like stay away from displaying fake items or which is a replica it's illegal as well as it is unethical because uh, you may get some good sales there are lots of people who are ready to buy uh, such kind of replicas and you can make a good amount of profit off from it but you are again online and you would be seen by various people if you get caught you may get legal prosecution you can you can end up getting your site freeze or you can end up getting your account on various uh, uh, e-commerce platform freeze so you should be much more aware about any kind of side effects what you can get by selling such kind of replicas the worst part would be you can lose your reputation and image from the industry so you should always avoid any using any kind of fake gemstones or fake uh, jewelry or replicas of various jewelry give buyers a reason to choose you over other gems and jewelry sellers online selling jewelry online can be pretty competitive so it's vital to think of a way to differentiate yourself from the hundreds of other sellers before you get started why should a buyer come to your end so a marketing guru jack trot said it best in the title of his best selling book differentiate or die so in order to sustain a good competition in this market you need to come up with something new something innovative something differentiate uh, different uh, different material different uh, designs in order to sustain yourself you can also use certain other techniques to be in the competitive market like fair trade jewelry fair trade jewelry is also something where you you need to work out in a, a fair conditions you need to pay your your uh, craftsmen you are in a good way you can claim you don't use any kind of uh, child labor you you follow all the rules and regulations set up by the industry uh, guidelines so if you if you work out on those kind of things and you explain your customers like what kind of fair trade jewelry you are manufacturing they end up paying you something extra for it they don't mind giving you some extra for it second one would be your eco friendly if at all your entire production or your entire jewelry range has not damaged any kind of eco uh, eco uh, uh, eco environment definitely our customers are ready to pay looking towards your social responsibility they are ready to pay some extra amount for whatever you produce and thirdly would be you you should be using conflict free gemstones now this is something which is one of the most important part where uh, you you can explain your customers like the gemstones which you have procured has been taken out from by official government authorities and all that and this this particular gemstones have never been funded for any kind of illegal activities or any kind of terrorism all over the world so use conflict free gemstones people are ready to pay some extra money for it too 
give your buyer a reason to choose when you give some extra information educated buyers now when we talk about uh, online sales you come across almost all educated buyers educated buyers prefers knowledge and sellers so train yourself well to answer any queries related to your trade or products enroll into any kind of training programs related to your industry and get yourself educated get yourself updated get yourself groomed as often as possible if you are educated well enough you would be able to answer any kind of queries or any kind of questions your customer or your buyer would be having and once you uh, uh, get released from your from their queries and all that they would end up being your customer forever you can also issue certificates of authenticity certificates of authenticity also helps your uh, buyers to give more uh, uh, respect towards your your, your trade it, it it ends up giving you some extra extra uh, uh, benefit over 60 percent of the buyers get attracted towards offers like free shipping you can use this kind of words on your sales or on your products on your website free shipping the moment word free comes into picture everyone gets their eyes much more popping up so, so you can use such kind of workout which where uh, you can attract more customers for female uh, uh, consumers and all that you can use sale and discount coupons which is also much more attractive you can have deals like year-end deals or deals of the day and you can have uh, various gift cards which can be distributed among your customers you can also think about giving written uh, written purchase uh, gift cards to your customers and all that so to make them again buy from your website or from your uh, from your platforms so these are a few of the proven marketing keys for a successful business after this there are seven proven niches to get you started you can think about having your fashion cocktail rings which are much more in demand even around 10 years down the line even today and even in the future now fresh, uh, fashion cocktail rings are certain uh, rings worn by females with some fancy gemstones attached to it with some diamonds and more colorful tones the more amount of uh, attraction what it creates second one would be your multi gemstones beaded bracelet which is much more in demand in today's world uh, females would love to have various gemstone beaded uh, bracelets even on a smaller size nowadays even males prefer having multi gemstones beaded bracelet to be worn in the fist multi gemstone beaded necklace which are again into much more of demand by females today something new which has come up is kids jewelry nowadays even kids out of the school they go for a party or they go for a, 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 a picnic or any such kind of place they they prefer wearing a jewelry that would be much more colorful much more trendy and basically for females a lot but uh, kids jewelries are also much more into demand Again, discussed earlier, you can have a fair trade jewelry, which would be a different range of jewelry, which you can prove it like it was uh, manufactured using fair trade policies. Men's jewelry, as I told you earlier, like nowadays, even uh, males, apart from their tie pins and uh, uh, certain of the rings and uh, bracelets, they have started using a multi gemstone beaded bracelets. So even men's jewelry has come into picture a lot. And a forever workout would be with your birthstone in astro jewelry. Right now, even astro jewelry is much more into picture when you add up various uh, gemstones together and they use it for various purposes like aura or any kind of uh, astro ailments. And right now, there are various elixirs and all that used. So, astro jewelry would be also much more into uh, demand. So, these are certain seven. Uh, points which you can think about before starting up or if at all you have already started you can diverse yourself into any any such kind of uh, proven niches and get maximum benefit out of it above all the most important factor one should consider after following the previously discussed key is that never consider online business as hobby if you consider this business as a hobby your thinking would be displayed on your products or the way your products are displayed and once a consumer considers your approach to be a hobbyist, you will end up losing your customer forever. So never consider your online business as a hobby, but give your best to it. Online sellers should be consistent and never give up, give up easy. So you need to be persistent enough in coming up with your online store. 
should bear innovative and progressive approach definitely yes without innovative and progressive approach it would be difficult for you to survive in this competitive world and please do not expect miracles to happen Mir miracles never happen in actual life only hard work pays so you need to really work hard for it and you should also have patience without patience it would be very difficult to survive with this we come to an end of this today's session and if at all there are any questions uh, i would be glad to answer any of your questions thank you Now the first question which has come like how to choose where to sell online when there are so many e-commerce websites that is something which we have already discussed like there are so many websites so you need to check one is one which is really good enough for you and there are various parameters on which you can decide for you second what we have is what would you recommend having your our own website or selling on other platform even i think uh, mr vishal has asked this particular question but even this is something which we have already discussed. Like it is again an individual call which you you own, which is much more appropriate to you. I've given you certain keys on which you can between various uh, uh, platforms and uh, having your own. That on which you can decide on that. Uh, how to hand the third question is like how to handle if you get negative reviews on products. Mr. Prakash Mishra, I would uh, uh, read the give you a very good answer for this like you cannot handle if at all you get negative review the only thing is you need to improve your service on the product the negative review reflects like your customers are not satisfied with the product or with the service what you have offered with the product so you need to improvise on that and see to it your negative reviews comes down to a zero it cannot you cannot eliminate 100 percent definitely yes you cannot please everyone on this earth but you can try your level best and you can try to get to the most minimum level uh then there's a question like your tips on handling the packaging to ensure the safety of the expensive stones and jewelry uh now every platform has their own way of packaging so what happens like once you are uh, uh once you join with any platform or once when you join with any any e-commerce website they have their own categories and for different categories they have a different packaging materials which they provide you can also have your own extra uh, precautions or uh, taken or you can have your own extra uh, boxes which can be worked out to uh, ensure the safety of your expensive stones you can add up some extra materials to it where you you would not allow your jewelry to bang with each other or if you if you have any such kind of doubts for the courier uh, services may not be able to handle it well enough so you can create some extra precautions to it and you can you can take care of your uh, jewelry in that form uh, then there is a question like online platform like amazon and all charges high commission of 40 percent is it justified uh it has been asked by miss vijaya power uh, online platforms like Amazon, they have their own policies for it, ma'am. And uh, forty percent again, you can you can choose some other platforms which are available at a very cheaper rate. You can think about having a platform like Snapdeal. Maybe they would be charging certain uh, amount like three to five percent, if I'm not mistaken. So you can you can choose some other platforms which may be able to charge you on a lower side. How to handle fraudulent customers when there are so many frauds happening over the written fees? uh this is the place where video ma'am you need to uh check out on your e-commerce platform because uh the frauds may be happening at various ends so you may think about changing your platform where it would be uh taken care by the e-commerce platforms if at all they come across a person who is making fraud they would they would 
uh, banned or they would blacklist that customer from purchasing anything else uh, from the same platform. How to get our website popularly known to the audience? If you could share some tips, I think we have we have discussed something where uh, Ms. Darshna Shah, Darshan Shah, Mr. Darshan Shah. Uh, there are various things which uh, requires to be worked out on this uh, question like pop website popularity can be worked out after you work it out with your search engine optimization you require your site to be much more uh, search engine friendly if at all it's a much more search engine family uh, uh, friendly you'll be able to have much more people coming towards your website secondly what you can do at your level would be you can have the links of your products which could be shared on various uh, social sites like uh, you can work it out on Twitter or you can work it out on Instagram you can work it out on Facebook start sharing your uh, products you'll definitely get good amount of audience coming to your site then there is a uh, Sarla Shah Mr. Sarla Shah uh, your question is like which commerce website would you recommend which is gems and jewelry industry family uh, friendly Ma'am, there are various websites available like you can think about eBay, you can think about uh, Flipkart, you can think about Snapdeal. These are all industry friendly. But again, everybody has their own different charges. So you need to go according to the charges what they charge and which is much more uh, appropriate for us for your calculations. So you need to sit here and uh, calculate uh, your uh, cost. On it, much money does it cost me to set up online business? And how do I start as I'm not techno savvy so for uh, uh, amount of money involved like uh, it would be somewhere between 10,000 rupees to around uh, 50,000 rupees depending on the e-commerce website what you would like to launch yourself then the next part would be the amount of inventory what you would like to pour in into so uh, nowadays your e-commerce website can be ready between 10 to 50,000 50, rupees and uh, you can start having your business online in that uh, uh, Miss Mega Shah, you have an eBay kind of portal charges high commission like 40%. It is already discussed like it uh, initially there was a question from uh, uh, Miss uh, Vijaya Pawar like 40% by Amazon and you come up with 40% from uh, eBay. Everybody has their own way of charges. So uh, does it impact on trade? Yes, definitely it impacts on trade because your, uh, if at all you are paying a commission of 40 percent definitely your product would be expensive 40 percent more compared to anybody else who would be selling it on another platform with a cheaper uh, uh, rates of uh, commission then uh, mr alexander and mr alexander ostrovsky uh, what about a sale what about to sale big diamonds uh, big diamonds you require a uh, uh, different different uh, place for it sir uh, because this is something where you will be having a, uh, a very common range of uh, uh, gemstones which can be sold on this line. It would be a much more like uh, a regular routine uh, kind of a jewelry which would be sold. So uh, selling big diamonds and all that may not be possible on this e-commerce platforms. Uh, Ms. Sapna, uh, your, your question is like without understanding clearly about estrogens, can we sell? Is it risky to sell estrogens to customers? No, ma'am, it's not at all risky as far as you reveal the stones which are used in your jewelry. It would be up to the customer to cross verify whether they are of their use or not. So they would be seeking for a particular gemstones and uh, you can you can uh, specify the names of the gemstone what you have used in your jewelry and they, they would appropriately buy according to that. So uh, there is nothing to worry and uh, you, uh, it is not at all risky to sell such kind of astro gems to your customers. The next question comes like from Mr. Vishal K. How long does it take to start getting good sales over the e-commerce website? Oh, it doesn't require any kind of time to take. It only requires the customer's willingness to buy from the, your product from the websites. So it, it doesn't require too much of a time. If at all, uh, your products are really good enough, the prices are competitive, the pictures are really good enough and your uh, uh, your say uh, your uh, customer uh, uh, satisfaction is on a higher level you will definitely require no time putting up your products there uh, i think the last question is from miss viprika jain if we order any jewelry online what is the guarantee that we will receive the same piece not the fake one as it is the precious thing uh, miss viprika i would rather like to tell you like most of the jeweler would never ever risk 
in giving you something which is not shown on their website or which is a replica. So until unless a person or uh, the seller is a fraud, he would never ever dare to make such kind of mistakes in his life. So it's always advisable. You can speak to them because most of the uh, e-commerce platform or most of the websites, they provide a contact details of the seller. So you can talk to them, make a sure like whatever you get is perfect. And they may also uh, like if you if you buy it from a good platform, they may also give you sales written policies where you can easily change or easily replace your get your uh, products replaced or you can easily return if you are not satisfied with the products what you get. So with this, I think we have come to an end. Is there any other questions from anyone? I would be glad to answer you. The last question was at 457. So I think there's no one more available. And thank you very much for attending the webinar. And I would like to thank Jam uh, Atlas for creating a good platform for people like me to have you uh, on a webinar today. And uh, for any other queries, you can uh, you can contact on my email ID that is kau underscore sn at the rate hotmail .com, and I would be glad to answer you. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for being such a lovely uh, audience for us today. And sincere apologies for the inconvenience that was caused due to the internet uh, in between the session. And uh, in case if you have any further questions, you can get in touch uh, with the presenter, Mr. Kaushik Sangvi, on the email address appearing on your screen. With this, we come to an end to this session, and we would like to thank everybody and Mr. Kaushik Sangvi for having this very informative webinar for us today. On behalf of Gem Atlas, uh, we are very thankful to everybody, and now we are good to close this session. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>